Jamie, what time is it? 7.55 p.m. precisely. What time did we say we were starting? 8 p.m. and 32 seconds. Bottom lurks, we haven't finished setting up and the shit audience are already out there. How dare they be on time? We've got an audience? I haven't finished my pre-show drink yet. Shut up, Sue. Jamie, get out there and stall. Stall? Yes, make up something vaguely amusing whilst I get Sue and Bob organised. <sighs> I don't like the look of them. Can't Bob do it? Okay, I'll do it. No, you'll just fuck it up. Send him with his mother. She can hold his hand. Oh, must I? Give me that wine. Wine! I want it. It's my own. My precious. What? Oh, come in, Mum. Well, talking about you, Bob. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Right, my mum and I have been... Will you stop? Tell them, you're mine. I drink to forget. <laughs> <laughs> My mum and I have been sent out here, right, to apologise to you all because we're not ready to do anything what's funny yet. So, um, sorry. Right. Oh, well, that's me, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't really think I'm Raven Coil. Let's just see if I can change the bulb. Piss it. Um, I broke it. What do I do now? Has anyone checked the stage lights yet? Yeah, all right, I'll do that as well then. <sighs> the year is 2017, and Stapleton Chicken finally stages a sci-fi fantasy-themed sketch show. In a freak mishap, witless pleb, Bob Southgate suffers an electromagnetic episode which reverses his polarity, sending him hurtling on a quantum leap across the interdimensional inside out, before knocking himself unconscious. Thank you, thank you everyone for coming to tonight's Pinto Opinion Comedy Show When Worlds Derive. I've been working really hard over these past few weeks to uh, produce this show and I think you'll all agree we've outdone ourselves this year. Yeah, don't pay yourself on the back too much, Sue. You haven't exactly been pulling your weight, you Jamie. T too busy pulling the bird, Sue, as you well know. You, me, after the show. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Someone. Everyone's missing me, I hope you as well, yeah. Yeah. Kay! <laughs> Kay! Your ass in here! <sighs> thank you, and thank you. You've done that bit, you well, idiot. I thought Turn, that'd be the day. Tonight's show is going to be an extravaganza of fantasy. Yep, because I am the definition of every woman's fantasy. And some <laughs> men as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I threw up a little there in my mouth. I did that once, didn't I? What? In Sue's mouth? Yeah. Aww. That's one serious paraphilia right there, even for a fantasy show. Jamie, yeah? it's not a kind of fantasy show. No? No, it's a science fiction and fantasy show. Oh. Where are you off to? Um, I just have a few rewrites to do. I may have put a bit too much kink into some of the sketches. <gasps> but yeah? it's too late for that now. We're about to do the first sketch. You just need to check that we've managed to uh, avoid all of those things that we talked about earlier, the really irritating things. Really irritating things? Yeah, you know, that we've avoided all the usual genre signifiers, all those tired and done-to-death tropes that get everyone's goat. Yeah, the thing that I find really annoying about sci-fi and fantasy is how the hero who ends up saving the world is always the least qualified to do so. Like some farm boy who turns out to be some gifted and expert spaceship pilot. Or, or the president turns out to be a businessman. I mean, <laughs> when's that going to happen? I mean, really. Mm, so we'll be avoiding that one. Mm. The thing that I find really annoying is when some scientific character comes along and is magically able to be expert in every possible scientific field. Can you fix that nuclear reactor? Yes, of course I can. I'm a fully qualified chiropractor. Pass me the spanner. Yeah, and, and the one that I find really irritating is um, 
parallel universes. Why is that irritating? Why are they irritating? Well, it's just the whole idea of them, isn't it? You know, the, the concept that somewhere out there there's an, an entire universe that's exactly the same as this one, except different. And there's, there's always a character in the parallel universe who is the evil one. And you can always tell who it is because they've always got a beard. Yeah. Even the women. <laughs> and, and there's always another character in the first universe that travels to the second of the two universes, only to discover that in the second of the two universes he doesn't even exist. Mm. <laughs> well, now we know what to avoid, we can get on with the show. Yeah, yeah. all we've got to do is choose our... Random guest star. Randy guest star. Guest star, you clunker. <laughs> Every year we invite someone to come up here on stage with us. We'll be our fourth pin to a pigeon member. A pigeon member? Isn't that a bit small? <sighs> yes, and every year we ask that you buy special hats to signify to us that you're completely and entirely willing to participate. So, so Keith! Can you just select an audience member for us, please? Why don't you just stand for you just there? Maybe that was quick. What? You're feeling all right. What are you talking about? Are you all right, mate? Yeah? What's your name? Mum. Your name's Mum? No, your name's Mum. No, no, her name's Sue. I'm keeping Mum. This is too confusing. I'm Bob. Don't you recognise me? I haven't slept with you, have I? Oh, uh... No, not that I can remember. Sounds like one of my dates. Have I? No, you're my mum. I am not <laughs> your mum. He's mummy Dean. How long does he think I am? Don't have? answer that one, Jamie. You know about the last time. She is my mum. Well, she doesn't seem to think so. She keeps saying she isn't. Yeah, well, she always says that. <laughs> Look, um, all I know is I'm here to do a comedy show, and you are in it. And you are in it, and you are in it. Yes, and you're so 2017's lucky audience member guest star. That's right, so let's yeah. get you off stage <laughs> and into your first costume. But don't you audience members worry, those of you who bought your hats will have opportunity to participate later as special members of Pin to a Pigeon. Oh. I thought we were stapled to a chicken. Stapled to a chicken? What a ridiculous name. <laughs> Come on. I've got a surprise for you with the wings. Oh, boys. <laughs> OK, so, whilst they're off getting ready, let's just check with the audience that we've chosen the right famous franchises to rip the shit out of. So, show of hands, please, for Game of Thrones. Anyone like Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah. Third of them. yeah. Harry Potter? Someone likes it. Good. Yeah, I've got quite a few Harry Potter fans. OK, what about Hunger Games? Me! 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 I like Hunger Games. That's my favourite. You do? Yeah. Why? Well, I like the first book, obviously. I mean, no one really likes the sequels very much, do they? No, I don't. Why? Why? They messed it all about. In the sequels, they, they got rid of the best characters, they changed the setting. It just wasn't as good, was it? Well, I preferred the second book. You kind of preferred the second book, but I haven't have brought it on with me. So, if you could just point out to me the best bits, please. Keith? Is this to kill a mockingbird? What's your point? <laughs> well, okay, if you don't like that, what sci-fi do you like? I know, I know, Jamie told me he said you like Knight Rider. Something about Knight Rider. Hey, Jamie, how can you talk about the show? Well, he, he, said, he said you really wanted to go riding with Kit. <laughs> no! Kit Harrington, not Who? Kit the car. Hey, what what sci-fi fantasy do you like? I like Stranger Things. And, and they are? No, Stranger Things is his own sort of, um... Thing? Yeah. Huh. I also like John Carpenter's thing. You like John Carpenter's thing? Yeah. Well, I suppose John Carpenter's thing was huge, wasn't it, yeah. in its day? But no, I think for me, I found it a trifle over long, and I found that once it worked its way past the opening, it didn't really build to much of a climax. <laughs> <laughs> OK! So, back to the audience, then. Who likes Lord of the Rings? 